All right, everybody, welcome back to Nick's Shooting Channel. As promised, we're going to review the uh, the Alien Gear holsters today. So um, we're going to go through a few holsters and kind of tell you my progression of holsters, but just a real quick safety check. Two firearms here, you can see uh, chambers clear, no magazine. This magazine's empty. Then we have a Ruger SR40, chamber is clear, uh, no magazine in, and magazine is empty. So we have no ammunition anywhere around. So just in background, when I first uh, started shooting, I got this uh, Bulldog host holster. Uh, it kind of has a strap that goes over the firearm, holds it in place. And uh, you can actually put an extra magazine in here. I thought I was making a good decision because this was inexpensive and uh, a little bit universal. But the way this mounts to your belt, it's kind of floppy. And I'll show you some side profiles later of that. Um, next for my Glock, I got this Glock original molded plastic holder. This is one step better, but you can see here, um, I actually had to cut it to get my belt to fit through there. Um, definitely better than the Bulldog, but still not so secure to my waist. Um, so anyway, then that brought me to the Alien Gear holster. And uh, anyway, here it is. And uh, We'll go, through, we'll go through a few things here, uh, specifically about this holster. All right, so Alien Gear holster. Uh, what I have here is inside the waistband holster. And just to show you, um, I got this. This is real soft. We got a few clips here. Um, these go on the outside, and we'll show you how to put this on in a little bit. And this is for my Ruger SR40. Uh, we already did the safety check, but you can see this just slides in real nice here and inside your waistband. So why Alien Gear uh, holsters? Well. Um, I talked to some people I read online, and uh, let me just explain a few things to you that came with the uh, with the holster, and uh, I think that'll make it pretty clear why why we would uh, go with the Alien Gear holster. First of all, you got this nice little kit that comes with it. Um, you have different size spacers, so you can kind of customize uh, here, and uh, you can adjust the angle. So you have these different clips, and you can see there's actually three different positions to put the clips. If you had a different model firearm, you just need to replace this uh, plastic uh, here. So um, but let me read through these things that come with the uh, firearm. So here we have the ironclad triple guarantee, and uh, you can see that here. And let me just read to you what Alien Holsters, Alien Gear Holster says. First of all, you get a 30-day test drive. Wear your Alien Gear Holster for a month, and if you don't agree that it's the most comfortable concealable holster, we'll buy it back, no questions asked. So there's really no risk. You buy it, you don't like it, you get your money back. Second, free shell trays. As I mentioned, this right here is your outer plastic shell. So if you ever decide to carry a different handgun and still want, uh, still own your Alien Gear holster, we'll trade your custom shell to match your new gun. So basically, if you want to change firearms, you just got to change this uh, shell and uh, Alien Gear is going to take care of you. And then your forever warranty. So if any part of your Alien Gear holster ever breaks for any reason, including the clips, we'll prepare to replace it free. We've got you covered forever. So, I mean, it's really a no-lose situation. Um, so that's that's one of the reasons I went with the Alien Gear holster. And then here, we'll take some still shots of this. But basically, they're recommending to put the holster uh, somewhere between the 3 and 4.30 position. So um, that's, that's that. Basically, what you'll see is I'll slide this in my waistband. These two clips come on the outside, and uh, they clip underneath here, um, right through here on your belt, and you're good to go. So with that, let's uh, let's show you how we do this. All right, we're back here, so I just want to go through the progression. First, I said I had this uh, Bulldog type holster, uh, very cheap. It is universal, um, but you can see here, when I clip this on, first of all, it's a little bit hard to get clipped on, and... Uh, you can see it's, it, it just moves around, and even from a concealed point of view, it's pretty obvious I have something here. So let's just show you what that's like. You've got to undo this snap, um, and again, we've already uh, we've already cleared our firearms, so um, just to show you, we've got no ammo in there. Um, this works, but you can see here, there's just a lot of movement in here, so it's, it's not so good for concealed. This was kind of the first cheap uh, holster that I bought. It does hold your gun. It does have an area for an extra magazine. Although uh, the 40 Smith & Wesson magazine doesn't fit in there. So um, from there, I said, you know what? This just doesn't, doesn't work for uh, concealed carry. It's a little bit too big, too bulky. So we went with the, uh, the Glock original holsters. Um, I bought it from Glock. Um, it's not bad. Um, I'll show you here. We just got to uh, loop our belt through there. And I really haven't found a good way to, 
to do this. Sometimes I go underneath, sometimes I go uh, beyond or uh, on the inside. But um, yeah, we just loop loop the belt here. Like I said, my belt's a little bit thick, so I actually had to cut the, the holes in the holster to make it a little bit better. Um, again, uh, firearms clear, so um, I don't even have a magazine in it. So this is a little bit better. Um, you can see here, um, you can kind of see the firearm, not too, not too much. Um, uh, right now I have it a little bit, but you can see when I go to pull it up, it's like it's pulling the whole belt. It doesn't come out so easy. So um, anyway, that was my, my Glock. So let's, uh, let's go with this uh, Alien holster. So what we're going to do here is we'll just put our uh, kind of our belt on and um, we're going to just slide our holster in here and uh, we'll put this right over our belt clip here. Um, in the front we'll put it right over our belt clip here. Um, button our pants up. Now uh, this is actually just a little bit far forward so we're going to swing it around here and uh, very comfortable. Um, again, our Ruger firearm is, is clear, no rounds in the chamber, and we're just going to uh, slide it in there. So you can see here, um, with this holster, very hard to tell that I have a firearm on there. It's very concealed, um, not moving around at all. If I want to draw, um, it comes out very simply, and it goes back in very simply. So um, definitely recommend it. If you want to have it tighter to the body, looser to the body. Like I said, they give you some uh, different types of uh, spacers to use. And also very important for the, the spacers and the clips, um, according to the uh, owner's manual, they do not use any Loctite on any of these screws here. So they leave these kind of loose uh, here, but um, what they tell you is after you get it where you want, use either some blue Loctite or some clear nail polish and just uh, get those locked into place so that it'll come undone. Anyway, overall, this Alien Gear holster, very comfortable, um, not so expensive, and we'll try it out. Maybe I'll do another video after wearing it for a few months. Uh, made in the USA, but definitely so far recommended. Me and my cousin both got some, and uh, I really don't see, uh, see any downside to it so far. Um, seems like high quality. Um, if there is a problem, they're gonna take care of you. Um, it's very versatile and flexible, and uh, yeah, definitely recommend it. So with that, as always, thank you for watching Nick's Shooting Channel. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Um, I always appreciate likes and comments, and feel free to check out the uh, feel free to check out the website at www.nickshootingchannel.com. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.